this video we're going to go over the two types of text that's available to you in CorelDRAW and those two types of text are artistic text and paragraph text and both of them can be accessed by clicking on the text tool here and we're going to do artistic text first so once we have the text tool selected we're going to come over here on our page and just simply click where we want to put our text you'll see a flashing bar cursor there and that's where our text is going to be so I'm just going to type the word test and then I'll go up and click the pick tool and that's as simple as it is to get some artistic text on the screen um, it's got the eight handles so we're going to go ahead and grab that lower right handle and make it a little bit bigger so we can see it um, again that's artistic text usually used in a logo if you're just doing a single line single word um, something along those lines um, what, with that artistic text selected of course we can come up here and we can change the font um, instantly that you know that's updated there on your screen we can adjust the point size here if you don't want to use the handles um, and depending on what's available by that particular font we could also pick bold italics or underline and um, that will affect your artistic text so that's basically how artistic text works uh, again used for small areas of text so now we'll look at paragraph text. We're going to go ahead and delete that by hitting the delete key. Now come over here and get my text tool again, but instead of just clicking on our page this time, I'm going to click and drag a box. And that box will define the borders of our paragraph text. And as you can see, the box has a dotted line. That dotted line will not print when we would print or output our file. That's just showing what is constraining our text. So rather than type a bunch of text in here, I have some on the clipboard and I'm just going to paste that in. And there we go. You can see we have about three paragraphs of Lauren is some text. And once that text is in there, again we can go up here with our pick tool and we could affect the text size up here. Um, but if you notice by adjusting our handles, it does not affect the text size only the size of the box so that's a major difference right there we can take this box and move it wider and our text becomes wider and of course since the font size didn't change the text becomes shorter so if we wanted to fill the top part of our page we could just do it just like that if we wanted paragraph text that was much longer this way from top to bottom but not as wide this way then we can we can move our paragraph box that way so that's kind of the basic um, way the paragraph text works there's a lot more detail to go into but that way you at least have a um, a handle on what the difference is between paragraph text and artistic texts 